Hello, I'm a mechanical engineering student studying in the University of Manchester. Um, I just want to go through how I got an A star in my A level physics and how you can too, how anyone can, if you use the right systems and right tools that are available to you. First of all, you want to go into your specification and you want to see what your modules are. You want to see how many modules you've got and you want to see the topics that you've got for each module. And then what you want to do before anything else, you want to make a skeleton of your course on Anki. So as I see here, I made all my modules in different card decks. And then you want to map out your specification. Okay. Now, from this point, you're then going to go into the specification and you're going to start asking some good questions and making good flashcards from the specification points. So you're going to go, so first of all, I'm just going to take a topic and it's going to be, for example, quantum physics. And here, what we're going to do is that we're going to get the first specification point and we're going to ask ourselves a question from it and we're going to ask ourselves what what is the nature of electromagnetic radiation and then when you've asked yourself that question you want to see how that links in with lots of different things you ask yourself why is it important where does it come up in um, what other things is it related to all these different questions that you can ask yourself about the same specification point. Then when you've done this, you're going to make a flashcard for each specification point, and then you can do this before the lesson, right? So then when you go into the lesson, you've made your, your flashcards already. You've already had an understanding of it from your own educational sources, like the book and YouTube, okay? You've already had one, one start on your revision. Then you go into it, your lesson. This is second revision, okay? You're going to be one step ahead of everyone in the class and sometimes also on your teacher okay and then you can ask your teacher very hard questions because you've already gone over it and you know what's difficult okay when you put the time in and then from there when you've then edited your cards edited questions from your lesson you can then go on to do past papers and then when you do past papers and topic questions you'll get about 40 questions but the majority of the time the topic questions they repeat themselves so you can do about 40 questions and probably 20 questions because they repeat themselves. So my point here is that you're going to go through that and you're going to edit the wording of your understanding of your flashcards to the mark scheme. And you're going to edit the words so you have the keywords in the mark scheme in your flashcards. Now this is a system that if you could do it for each topic, you get these decks of flashcards in Anki that will completely consolidate the whole topic. So when you come to your examination, you will be able to review it just before your exam. And you have all the past paper questions, the mark schemes, the words in there in front of you. So you can ace your exam. On top of all this, you can't just do this for equations and problems. You need to do problems yourself. But the way you can understand equations is by looking at the units and trying to derive back from the units. So, for example, the... Um, centripetal force equation, so mass times velocity squared over the radius. Now, if you prove that, I'll send. I'll have a picture on here now. Um, if you prove that, you can see that they're both in newtons, okay? And then from doing this, you actually understand what each of the quantities are in that equation, and you actually understand a bit more why it's used as well, because you'll be asking yourself, looking up YouTube videos in the process of doing this, okay? And then whilst you're doing, that, doing this, this will understand the equations. Um, when you're doing problems, try and talk yourself through it. This is what I did. I try to think about what actually I need to know and try to look at its steps. Okay, Don't get worried about the maths. It's more about steps. And looking at the first part of the question in A-level physics always rely, relates to the last part of the problem and seeing how it all links in and try and have an outward view and try and look around whilst you're doing your examination and don't be so singular. And then finally, try and teach it to other people. Try and help people around you because nine times out of ten, if you are teaching yourself the subject before the lesson, you're going to know more than everyone else pretty much. You're going to be five times, ten times a step ahead of everyone around you. And um, if you follow this system, it's going to reduce your stress immensely, have a better state of mind. And before doing any of this, negotiate yourself because... You can't just tell yourself to do all of the topics at once. Just do it slowly, do it productively, and do it efficiently. Thank you very much, and I hope this helps you.